vending machine story time. So I have this clip that I recorded while in Tokyo. I was getting a drink from the vending machine and it was a touchscreen electronic one. First of its kind that I've used in Tokyo. And I was really excited and I recorded it. And looking back at it now while editing, I notice it's a little bit weird. Some parts of it make me sound kind of crazy. So I'm going to play a clip for you and then maybe you notice it, maybe you don't. Um, maybe I look completely crazy in it. I'm going to let you watch it first and then I'll come back and explain it to you. At least what I think happened. Look, it's an electronic touchscreen one. Let's try it out. Some water. explains why it didn't give me one of the waters I ordered but I don't know about the 50 yen should I tell him that ain't my 50 yen too so there's a couple things that are kind of weird about this first of all I kept saying that I was missing 50 yen but if you looked at the price of the water bottle you'll know that it was a hundred and ten yen and according to the machine I had already inserted 100 yen to explain why I kept thinking 150 yen, if you look at the price of the drink right next to the water bottle, it was 150 yen. So before recording this particular clip, I actually wanted to get the drink right next to the water bottle. I tried ordering it and the machine was out of it, which is why at the very end of the clip when they were restocking the vending machine, I said that's why they didn't have the drink I wanted. That drink is 150 yen. So being a nervous uh, foreign person who is already bad at counting money, I prepared the coins beforehand and I prepared 150 yen because I wanted that particular drink. When that drink was out of stock, I went for the water bottle right next to it. And maybe because I was preoccupied trying to film and get the water at the same time, I didn't register the fact that it is only 110 yen and I didn't need to insert all of my money. So I proceeded to put in 150 yen despite that the water bottle was only 110. The second weird thing is that when you're watching me insert the coins into the machine, you'll notice that I inserted a silver one and then I put in five of the bronze ones. Now the bronze ones are 10 yen each, so you know I put in at least 50 yen and then one of the silver ones. And the silver ones you kind of have two options. It's either 100 yen or 50 yen and the 50 yen will look different because there's a hole in the middle of it. The footage is a little blurry because I just panned down so it didn't have time to focus. You can't tell what exactly the amount is but given that you can't really see the hole in the middle of it, it's pretty much 100 yen. And I know it was 100 yen because I counted 150 yen. Since I was missing 50 yen, it seems a little bit strange. I didn't insert a 50 yen to begin with. And obviously the machine was registering the 10 yens because when I panned out at the end, there was a little bit of a lag and you can see it jump to 90 and to 100. So you know, it did register the 10 yen increment. So that leads me to my conclusion, which is I'm pretty sure that the machine registered my 100 yen coin as a 50 yen coin. And that is why I was missing 50 yen. What do you guys think? Maybe no one cares, but you know, I was just watching it and I was like, man, if you didn't know any of these things, I just sound like a crazy person who's complaining about a machine who ate my money, ate more of my money than I thought, or I can't count money or something. But counting money is kind of hard. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this fun short little video and my craziness. I hope you guys are... I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think my theory is valid? Mm -hmm. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you just came here to look at the touchscreen vending machine, there you go.
go. Hopefully when you go and use it, it doesn't eat your money like it did for me or register the coins incorrectly. Anyways, please stay tuned for more videos in Japan and Tokyo and Osaka and Kyoto is coming up. I already have a couple videos up for the beautiful Pink Moss Festival in Mount Fuji and also Shushi at Shushidai. I know I always say Shushi. I'm trying to correct it. Sushi. Yeah? <laughs>